Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you our new product that is Kinkoni M16 V2 version energy meter board. So this board also used by the ESP32 module. And you can integrate to Home Assistant by ESP Home very easily because we have already write the YAML file and upload it to Kinkoni's form website. You can download and directly to use it. And this board, you can see, we have mixed some improvement uh, than the V1 version. So many uh, one, two, three point improvement. You can see here that is a PoE module. So this PoE module, if you install, you can without your power supply just connect to your PoE switch. And here you can see that is a very good temperature and humidity sensor. It will output high precision data from this module. So it can detect your power distribution box, the temperature, whether it's high or it's normal state. And make some automation, you can cut the power supply if you have some dangerous. So this is the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor. And you can see here that blue parts that have three channel voltage sensor. So this time you can detect your voltage in real time. So max support uh, 380 volt and also you can use for the single phase uh, 220 volt and you can use for three phase for power supply and max support 380 volt. So this board you can see this is voltage terminal and this is 16 channel current uh, terminal so you can use this board uh, detect your load current and the voltage and the power in real time and it's very easy using home assistant and later i will show you the hardware details and how it works in home assistant by esp home okay let's begin look at this hardware details you can see here that is our schematic we can see this schematic you can see ldo that for power supply and this is esp32 and this for the 6 channel current, I just use this chip for extend uh, for analog input because the ESP32 only has 4 channels of analog input by the hardware resource. And this is auto program. So you, you can use our board, never press this button for download. This has the auto program circuit. And this is Ethernet. And you can see here that is the PoE module. This is PoE. And here that have the voltage detect sensor, the MPT101B. So this is for the transform. So you can see one, two, three, three channel. And this I square C are for RTC module, DS3231, and extend, and this is OLED SSD1306 display. And this is NTC for protect the board, used for DC 24 volt. And here you can see that is the SD card. So maybe you need to save your data, save your energy meter data to your SD card. So you can write this SD card by Arduino IDE code. We have already write this, how to use this SD card demo source code on our form. So this is schematic. The schematic we also is open source. So you can find it in King Kony's website here. You can see this M16V2 version schematic. So you can download service and the software the document at here. So you can just open this schematic. And also we can see this is our PCB design. Uh, this is V2.1. We have made the V2.0 and this is the newest uh, V2.1. And you can see uh, in 3D mode. And this is the back of the PCB. And also this is the in front, in front of it. And this is the PCB. And in our form, uh, also have some resource for you to use. And you can see this is our form, M16. We have already uploaded the V2 version resource, the ESP, uh, GPIOs, Define which pin uh, used for what function, and you can check it here. And this is for ESP Home, uh, for Home Assistant. You can see 
we have already integrated this M16 V2 board uh, to Home Assistant and you can check the power and the daily energy and the humidity and the temperature and this is three channel of the voltage detect and this is for current and this you can see the LD and this you can see the OLD that have displayed the temperature and the humidity and the one chain of AC voltage and you can change it to display you can display a three channel voltage or one channel voltage or one channel current it's up to you just set in ESP home later I will show you how to set and where to change will change this display and you can see here that we have uh, just uploaded this some library files to your ESP home uh, just uh, saved on your uh, Raspberry Pi because I have used King Kong server so that I have uploaded this file to this folder config and the ESP home and that is downloaded for the config YAML file and this is zip file just these three files later I will show you where is to upload it okay this is the resource of the hardware and this is Arduino source code you can see how to calibration uh, AC voltage uh, that is very easy and just install this library and running this code and you can easily to calibrate your AC voltage and here also you can see that a simple demo source code of output the voltage uh, by the third part in with the Arduino IDE and you just can use this library and direct it to running this program it's very easy to print your AC voltage okay this is the software resource of our hardware board let's look at the hardware how it work and how it wire your device and here you can see this M16 V2 version board uh, ESP32 SD card and a USB for download and this is for power supply and this is a PoE module uh, you can remove it uh, or you can install it uh, just uh, when you choose uh, which the M16 V2 version board have the e PoE uh, you can without it or can include it the ES Ethernet port and the voltage detect terminal and the 16 channel CT clamp uh, so you can see here uh, that CT clamp uh, this is for 15 ampere 1 volt the output is a voltage and you can see that is 100 ampere uh, 50 uh, milli ampere so this is voltage output signal just uh, output voltage and this is output uh, current so this will be output current and you can choose either of this sensor to use you just need to change this jump uh, so you can see uh, this jump the left is voltage and the right is milliampere so the right is current and the left is the voltage so you can easily to change this jump uh, this for the voltage and uh, this for the current so it's according, it's according to your uh, which sensor you have choose so if you want to choose the CT clamp sensor you can see here there are many different uh, CT clamp you can see uh, 1 volt uh, 10 ampere uh, 1 volt 20 ampere and uh, 30 ampere and uh, 50 ampere and uh, 60 ampere and uh, 100 ampere so it's enough for you to choose which sensor you want to use and also you can see that is a mini ampere signal type of the 100 ampere we suggest to use the voltage the voltage will be uh, good so there are many voltage different type of the uh, CT clamp sensor okay let's go on uh, you can see this is the board and this part installed on the DIN rail and now I will use this board and connect with my loader and this is King Kong server mini version that actually is a Raspberry Pi 4 computer so you can see uh, I have used the SD card and installed the Raspberry Pi and this is USB for download connect with this USB part so you can see uh, this is my load and this is the internet line 
W A N and this is LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, LAN 4. So I have used this cable, have connected to the Raspberry Pi. And this cable, you can see, I will connect to this Ethernet port. So this port uh, work in local network or without the internet, it can work. Just use the home assistant using local network, or one device load and the second and the third. And the first thing we test without the PoE module. I will connect with the 12 watts. Okay, let's test the voltage function firstly. And this is a 12 watt power supply. And this is also use a 12 watt for this part. So for test, I just use this line one and two together. Then I connect with this power supply. Uh, this is 12 volt and 2 ampere. And I connect to, to 220 volt. I can connect with the uh, power supply. And you can see the LED, red LED is on. And this is on. And you can see uh, the LED uh, screen have see this uh, temperature and the humidity and the AC voltage because I have already uh, downloaded the ESP home config file uh, in this ESP32 module. I have used this terminal, have connect with this socket because I will test it directly. And this is another channel uh, because uh, we are a live line and neutral line, a live line and neutral line, and this is the third channel, live line and neutral line. So I have used this to plug in. Uh, this is the one and this is two. You can see here, I connect to this board. Okay, you can see this home assistant has started. So you can see this date is become available. And this M16 V2, I have integrated to the home assistant. And you can see this is current and this is watch, three channel watch, and this is temperature sensor, and this is humidity, humidity sensor. Okay, let's test uh, connect with this power supply. Now you can see, I will connect with the socket with 220 volt. You can see here, I connect to it. And now you will see the watch that is 235 because this is actually voltage. Let's use the multimeter to test it. What's the voltage? And here. And you can see. Okay, you can see 236. 237. Okay, almost as thin as the home assistant. Now let's test the channel 2. I will use this socket and connect it here. You can see here, this LCD display have changed. And you can see uh, that is changed. The 235, it's update, update always, so it's a refresh. And now let's look at, uh, this is the voltage, uh, the another channel is changed. So this is for the real time feedback for the voltage. Okay, the third channel is also as thin as this way that can detect the voltage. And before configure this in home assistant, uh, you can see uh, we can click ESP home and you can click uh, this edit button and you will see uh, this is details. This details just a copy and paste from our website. You can see just from here, YAML file for ESP home. So you just 
download this config file and all co copy all contents and paste it to the ESP home. And just before you copy and paste, make sure you have these three files have uploaded to the Raspberry Pi. So you will see uh, we have uh, just as uh, this photo. So just to make sure your three files in this ESP home photo. So that will work well. Okay, this is how to detect the power voltage. Now let's test the PoE module. You can see we can disconnect uh, this power and disconnect this power and power off. This board is power off. And I remove this cable and remove this socket. This time I will show you how to use the PoE. You can install your PoE module. Uh, this is a 5 voltage PoE module. So you can just install it this way. Very easy. Just plug in it. And now we just use a PoE switch. So this is my loader. And this is my TP-Link uh, PoE switch. So you can see uh, that is PoE switch and some network. And this is the power. And this is the power of the PoE. So we can connect the to here so that the PoE is power on. You can use one load cable, uh, this is your loader, and network cable from here, just uh, disconnect, and you can connect to the PoE switch. You can see I can connect it here. PoE switch. And then use this any network part and connect to this Ethernet part. So I can use this one C85 cable. Uh, this needed to use the high quality cable. And I connect with this any of the part. And now you can see I just connect with this part. And you can see the LD is on. And the network began work. And you can see uh, this LCD display is working and the in-home assistant also is working. And now I can connect with this 220 volt at here. And this is another, another socket. You can see I connect it and you will see uh, this is voltage is changed right now. And also you can see uh, these two volts have listed, have updates. So this is how to use the PoE module uh, for this board uh, without your power supply. Just use one network cable. Okay, next let's test the current of the sensor. Okay, let's test this board with current, the load current. And this time I will use this CT clamp sensor. So this is 15 ampere, uh, one volt. And also, I will use this uh, for our test. I have uh, input the word, and uh, this will become hot. And you will see uh, that the voltage and the power are uh, about uh, six, 600 for the power. And this is the voltage. And I will connect with this outlet. And I make this outlet and uh, just uh, for two wines because I want to use this to just install uh, this way. So you can see here, make sure one leave line have go through this city clamp sensor. And I have connect with this channel one. Uh, this is channel one. Just connect with it. 
And this time, also I have detect the real time voltage of this power supply. So you can see here, uh, this terminal, this is channel 1, the socket, I want to con connect it uh, to detect the channel 1 voltage. So you can see here, I have connect with it, and the voltage not see the display because this display have detect the channel 3. So in home assistant, uh, you can see this channel 1. Uh, the MPT, that is ESP32-34 uh, GPIO that have changed, you can see the update state. And now we can put this way on it, and we'll connect this to power supply. Okay, now this will begin work, and this have the current. And you can see the current have about 3 ampere. And this is the power. Uh, this is real time feedback from this voltage. And this is the current. And this is about uh, the power. So this is just about the current because our voltage uh, is not 220 volt. This is 230 volt. So this is how to detect the watch and detect the current in real time. Okay, thanks for watching.